Hello and welcome to Current Affairs on JTV. I'm joined today by David Horowitz, who's the founder and president of the David Horowitz Freedom Centre and also the editor of Front Page magazine. David, thank you very much for joining us from uh, sunny California. You had a famous case um, a, a few years ago when you were confronted with a student who wanted to uh, gather all the Jews in Israel. Um, is that sort and of the kill them and kill them and kill them? Will you uh, condemn Hamas here and now? I'm sorry, what? Will you condemn Hamas? Would I condemn Hamas? As a terrorist or a genocide organization? Are you asking me to put myself on a cross? So you won't. We'll if I support you. Hamas, because your question forces me to condemn Hamas, if I support Hamas, well, I look really bad. If you bad. don't condemn Hamas, obviously you support it. I'll put it to you this way. I'm a Jew. The head of Hezbollah has said that he hopes that we will gather in Israel so he doesn't have to hunt us down globally. For it or against it? For it. Uh, that to me is extraordinary in, in general terms, but for it to be happening on a university campus, a place yeah, which, as you've stated, was I, set up for discourse, I, why, why was nothing done about that student? The problem is that faculty, the, the faculties of our liberal arts schools in America and in England are dominated by communists and pro-terrorists. And that may sound extreme, well, but it yeah. actually is I was going to say that, but that, that, that is very extreme. That all professors are communists. What it means is that the ones who are willing uh, to, to be political on a campus, to shut other people down, to control the faculty senates, to control the teacher unions, the uh, the American Association for, of University Professors is run by Stalinists. And I've shown that. I've written five books on the subject. Uh, it's easy to demonstrate because that's the way they think. And they're Israel haters as well. That's the problem. But is, okay, is the problem in your view uh, the communist element, to use your uh, terminology? So the administrators are intimidated. Right. Uh, but what role? By the faculty, because the what? faculty can ruin you. But let's let's move to the sort of generalities on this. So, is it is it the case now? There are, in your view, there are certain things you just can't speak about on campus anymore. And again, let of me course. let me let of me course. let me focus. Look, okay. There are films. There are you can you know. There's a film called Crossing the Line Two, which will show you what happens if you try to open your mouth in defense of Israel on a college campus. You get attacked by these Hitler youth. Uh, and when I say attacked, I mean they're physically attacked, verbally attacked. This is terrible. And the administrators do nothing because they're afraid of their faculties. Okay, so what should the response be to this? If, if the administrators are doing nothing, what can people who are concerned about this, whether in the Jewish community or externally, well, what can they do I, about it? Well, one thing they could do is they could uh, withdraw recognition from terrorist front groups like Students for Justice in Palestine and the Muslim Students Association. They were created by the Muslim Brotherhood, both those organizations. They are funded by American Muslims for Palestine, which is a Hamas front, and has been shown to be that by the, there's a report, the, well, there's congressional testimony by the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies. Um, I have a website called Stop the Jew Hatred on Campus, which has all the documentation. Also, look, criticism of any government is legitimate. Mm -hmm. However, when your entire political life is spent, as it is for these groups, spreading demonstrable lies that are genocidal, for example, Israel doesn't occupy one inch of Arab land. Israel was created on land that belonged to the Turks for 400 years before the creation of the state of Israel. Israel is not an apartheid state. Uh, the Gaza is a terrorist state. It's not a, a, a state where Israel is practicing genocide on Arabs. Israel has responded to thousands of rocket attacks, unprovoked, into civilian targets in Israel. 
Uh, but when you have these organizations going out and spreading lies that are, were, are, are part of the propaganda offensive of Hamas, when they're receiving money from Hamas, when their speakers are pro-Hamas, when the founders of their groups are pro-Hamas, then I, you know, they're terrorist fronts. What else do you call them? So what would this you? This is not student groups who arrive at criticism, and they're not about justice in Palestine. The Palestinians are oppressed, but they're oppressed by Hamas, the government there which is stealing hundreds of millions of dollars from international aid groups, the United States, the UN, whatever, and spending it on digging terrorist tunnels to kill civilians in Israel. These are Jew killers. These are Nazis. When the left uses the word Nazi, it's because it's something they don't like. Hamas is a Nazi organization. Its charter calls for the extermination of the Jews. No decent human being can support Hamas. So why is it then, leading on that point, why is it then that so many politicians and others in the West appear unable to recognize organizations like Hamas for what they are? Well, look, Europe, uh, you know, look, first of all, anti-Semitism is the oldest age. So there is a dislike of the Jews, if you will, uh, an animus towards the Jews, uh, which it builds on. But then you have all the oil. I mean, Europe is dependent on, well, uh, I, I think your sources of oil is mainly Iran, uh, which is a, not another Nazi state. So, you know, you're prisoners and your politicians are weak. It's sad, it's tragic. But, uh, you know, Europe to me now is a cultural theme park on its way out. It's a grim, okay, that's a grim prognosis. Um, living in Europe, I'd, I'd suggest that it may not be quite it's, as grim as you're suggesting, but I take your point that obviously there are differences. I, 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 hope, I, I hope you're right, but I have to see it to believe it. I... David, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for having uh, taken the time to join us today. Thank, uh, thank you for your patience. A pleasure.